Check it out. This is the open source TipTap editor with user state management and publishing workflows. So you can save to draft and um, have publishing statuses like draft pending and published. The experience is like the medium editor where you have this floating menu on the left by the side of the cursor on new lines and the floating toolbar when you select text and images. And this is actually the editor for the editor in the center. And this panel on the left lets you customize the editor. And then at the end, you can get the component. And I'll just quickly go through the different options. The first one we've got is editor settings, where you can enable the publishing workflow. So that's where you've got contributors publishing with um, editors. So the first flow is where you press save. And this demo editor actually has a local storage to simulate the saving. And so if I refresh this now, you can see with this post ID up here, it will just load that first one. And then you press publish. And it doesn't go through an editor or anything in this instance. It just is published. But when you are working on a publishing platform, I'm going to switch it to the publishing flow. In this one, it auto saves for the user. And once they're ready, they can just press submit and that will change the state to pending, pending review. And this is quite cool actually. If you're an admin, you can come to the settings panel and publish it. Um, this panel is actually available for both logged in users and admins, and you can choose in the ed editor, editor, the customizer, um, who has access to different fields. So in this general panel, you might not want to give your user the publishing state access. So you can get rid of that for um, non-admin, so I'm non-admin now. And then go into the SEO panel, you can customize the fields that people see. You can remove an ad, um, depending on what your database is. And generally customizing the editor, you can do things like hide the whole navigation, because there'll be instances where you don't want it. For example, in Prototyper, I use the editor in this way, where I've changed the logo, and I've got the undo and redo buttons there. But in this note version, I'm using the same editor with a different menu. Uh, so I've hidden the user one because it's up here. I've done that here, yeah. Oh, this is actually using it. Mm, other options are avatar placeholder, some default ones, um, the nav position, the logo, so in this one, copy image address, you can change that so you can brand it yourself, hide the redo buttons, publish status and user badge. And yeah, you can play around with that. I've used it in a couple different ways there and as a note. And in GitHub, you can click here. It has um, some documentation on how you use it, like the props you need and the post operations so when it saves the post or when it loads the post, what data is needed. And then you can upload pictures and stuff too. Anyway, that'll do. <laughs>